All right, so I know a couple of you guys have been asking a lot of questions over our scissors blocks lately, um, and not only just for some of you guys that were at our 545 class on Thursdays, but also a lot of our students and instructors alike to make sure that we're knowing how to be able to teach our double scissors blocks. So this is going to go through our marching hand techniques and also through our forms. So I will demonstrate going through our forms for today. So coming in from your fist wrap position, feet together, left hand, right hand comes all the way across. As we set, we need to make sure that the left leg is going to step forward first. So your right hand is going to load to the shoulder, pinky side or the hammer fist side, and then the thumb side or the eye of the hand is going to match where the bell. So this should look similar to our down block. As we step forward though, we need to make sure that we're able to step forward on the left side as we twist. Our inside block comes from the left, then as we come through, the bottom hand is going to come back to the hip, other hand comes to the shoulder. Also, we rotate from the body. As we come up, then you block again. So one more time, as I come through fist wrap position, we load, closed hand, shoulder, open hand, close to the belt. Rotate from the waist, comes up, one, again, bottom hand, hip, other hand, shoulder, Rotate from the waist, inside block comes up, and block one more time. So at a fast speed, we come up, load, one, two. As we step, we need to make sure that it is not just moving your hands, we need to load. So as I step forward, I take my top hand, reaches to the hip. As we turn, I come up, one, again, top, bottom, turn, and block again. So if you have any questions with the double scissors block, that is how we are going to do those in forms and how we need to be able to progress through those in our hand techniques. Any questions, please let me know.